This photograph was taken on a rainy Saturday afternoon on a sports field or at the side of a sports field where our kids were running up and down with a rugby ball and we were struggling in the rain uh, supporting them. And it just so happened that I turned to my left and I saw all these umbrellas and amongst the umbrellas was one face and that is the guy looking at us but he was facing what would be the right of the screen. So the first photograph, I actually have two photographs, this is the second one, the first one has him looking that way and I liked it. But then, I don't know if he heard the click of the camera, or of the shutter, or if it was just one of those things that, uh, hey, somebody's looking at me and he turned, he just smiled and that's all that. So this, there's nothing great about the picture, but it does make me think of something that fascinated me about photographs when I was growing up. And that was that when you look at a lot of those really old photographs, there's always one person or a few people and they're staring at the camera. And I don't think people were so used to cameras. So there's this strange, almost apprehensive look that they have. And they're looking into the camera. And then I, as the child, and many times this would be in the Observer magazine, which I looked at even though I couldn't understand what was being said in a lot of the articles. But I just loved looking at the pictures and I especially loved staring at whoever was staring back at me through the camera lens. Today, or in these recent times, I mean, I don't take, I rarely take photographs. I'm too busy doing other things. But I had noticed uh, up until the years just before COVID that if I was out and about taking pictures, two things, people, they know how to pose. So if a camera comes anywhere and it sort of points towards them, you can almost see these small shifts in the way the body poses itself. I had that once. I remember I was walking around the Rye, which is a convention center, and I had a camera sort of hanging down to my right. And it was one, it was, um, it had to do with fashion. So I'm not a fashionable person and it wasn't high-end fashion, but it had to do with sort of more the mass market fashion. You had all these people showing what was coming for the next season. And as I walked around, people were so aware of cameras. So you saw maybe, the, I, I'm so unfashionable that they probably thought I was a fashion person. Uh, and as I walked, everybody who noticed a camera, you could just see these tiny adjustments with their bodies. So of course they'd look good if I were to take their picture. Then the other thing is, um, actually there are three things, because I said there were two things. Well, maybe there are three things, maybe they're two, whatever. Anyway, the other thing is that uh, I noticed it's now possible to get so close to people and they just don't notice. They really have no idea that you're there with a the camera. So you can go right next to people, you can take pictures, usually it's of what they're looking at on their telephone, but they are so disconnected and I find that quite a huge contrast to the way the old photographs were, where you'd have people looking nervous and you imagine the camera was this gigantic object. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, fil footage of the flash where it, it seemed to be some explosive material that would create light. So I can imagine it was quite an event when a photographer, a photographer came around. Now we take pictures uh, a zillion times a second and we don't care about it, but anyway. But that's what this made me think of, the person, who, the one who is always looking back. There's always, in most photographs with lots of people, if you look carefully, you'll find one or two people who are staring at the photographer. This was a friendly version of that.